Hey everybody, I am Anjindra. This is what to play next. Um, with Game of Thrones being done, the Avengers gifted got cancelled, we decided to do a mini-series. Adventure games that are basically just a TV show you interact with, like VR, AR is kind of breaking through. So, we'll check it out. Um, you play the Big Bad Wolf. It's based on the Fable comics, so it's really good. Somebody is banging on my door. We're, we're the sheriff around here. The Fables crossed over, kind of like in ABC's Once Upon a Time, only it's New York City, so it's way grittier. Big me! Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. I had heard that they were These both based off the comet. And if you watched the TV series, then you know careful. who that is. We'll talk outside. I like the fact that it's subtitled, so you can interact a little bit and you don't miss anything. Those are supposedly their luxury estates for the fables. It's a little different in New York City than it was in Storybrooke. It's just a jacket, right? No. Oh, she didn't make it far. It's the hooker we helped. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Monday, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Mondays are Mondays. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. You're adorable, Snow. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Great. It's just terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It must be almost sunrise. Strange God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What, are you? what is? Well, that's a message. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. It's mildly really horrifying. What kind of monster would do this? I'm 
sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. We should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Snow. Something else. There's like nothing around here. Talk to Snow White. Check the bushes. We're no CSI, but nobody there. Should at least glance around. Anything this way? The snow? The bench? Nothing. No cigarettes. Nobody watched. Nothing like that. Blood trail. Probably leading to the scene, I'm guessing. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. It must be cool to be a wolf and just like know things like that. What's that? signs that it's been here long. Uh, could be just a tree, but... Fabric. Looks like jeans. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tell me much. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got in and out, huh? Just some loose trash. Um, I saw a purse, friend. Ooh. More blood. I thought that was from Someone the Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still red. You don't want to take a sample? Sharp enough. Apparently don't really have much in the way of, like I said, crime scene investigation. So nothing at all in the garbage. Right the garbage men can even find their way here. Definitely not then. I love the fact that Telltale cuts you off once um, you're done with the conversation. It's rare that you repeat yourself. I've never really needed that kind of prompt. If I miss something, I just miss it. What's through here? Where are you going? Are we done? Um, I'm good. I've seen enough. But... Okay. We should... Move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. It's weird. Psychopath? I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Does that even as apply long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. 
Cool, so we can get a blood panel. DNA testing, maybe. I don't think they take a sample of the blood, though, unfortunately. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. What lovely people we have here. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? Well, you, obviously. See, even Bigby agrees with me. As incompetent as he is. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Mapletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety it's of the entire psychic. community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Who's gonna run the place on you, Ichabod? Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. It's kind of the plan, so, bro. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? I get it. You can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. No. Well, that could have gone better. I can't talk without well, swearing, so... I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? <gasps> yes. A flying monkey! You are gorgeous. I want one. Is that the wine? Pumpkin. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking this early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Oh, soft touch. You're getting rolled. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Swell. It hasn't been a great morning. Sorry. Yeah, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Hmm. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. 
So, we're gonna hit the stacks and do some research, see if we can find our killer. It might be a psychopath on the loose named Bluebeard, it might be the woodsman. So stay tuned, drop us a like and subscribe, get more. Thank you for watching, and as always, much love.